Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you <laughs> from Sheridan, Wyoming. Yes, there will be lots of shenanigans tonight because we have some unicorn poppers. Bad aim. Oh, mine won't pop. Gosh, oh, sometimes really they don't aim. pop. Ugh. We're going to wait for some people to get in here. There we go. <laughs> We have been having so much fun here. I think this one doesn't work. In Sheridan, Wyoming. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of shenanigans going on here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get myself set up here on my iPad so I can see your comments. I don't have my other glasses tonight, so it's going to be really hard for me to read on my little screen here. So this will work great. I'm glad I remembered to bring this. Ooh, I see. I see. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot to put my elf ears on. This is very festive. Where are all the balls? Right? <laughs> very festive. I got a ball. I've got a ball. Right here. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you guys could join us tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Just dropped my unicorn. Uh-oh. Unicorns. Unicorn balls unicorn down. are falling. Unicorn down. Yeah, this one won't go. See, this one is... No, you, the sh harder you shove it in... <laughs> See, I'm having trouble with this one, too. Apparently, I'm not shoving it in. you got to shove it in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there went one. Wow! Here comes another one. Oh. Hang on. Oh. This is why we can't find the balls. <laughs> They're you everywhere. Us, you tell us when you're done with our shenanigans. Okay, I think we gotta let more people get on. We've only oh. got a, we've only got a hundred. Oh, two hundred, two hundred on. Jeez, we gotta wait for everybody to get in. These are five. Well, we can Here, sit down. This one doesn't work. A, yeah, it does. see how cute it is. It's unicorn rainbow poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Sorry. good lord! It had nothing in its. This one won't work. It will too. fix it. You are. <sighs> I have Here all the people You're here. You're unicorn impaired. I'm unicorn right impaired. Shh. Oh, it did. Barb was talking about hers. Her little unicorn butt was getting a little dirty. Oh, that was kind of funny. I don't know if it we was. can say that. Can we say that? I think the color of the ball See? is right it won't work. On that ball is defective. This mm. ball is a dud. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm betting you guys, if you like silly, you're glad you tuned in tonight. If you're not all about silly, mm, you're probably watching the wrong channel. <laughs> I just want to make it perfectly clear. <coughs> disclaimer. We, disclaimer. We have been. I thought you were going to hit. I was like no. waiting to get pounded in the no, head I'm again. They don't, they don't really hurt. You go do what you got to do now. We're done. Okay. For Fine. a while. Barb said no more. For a while. It's time to stamp. We're not going to stamp yet. Whatever. We'll be back. So. Dina and I made the trip out here to Sheridan, Wyoming on, when did we leave? Monday? Sunday. 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 We drove straight through. Boom. Straight through. We stopped in Rapid City at Longhorn Steakhouse, which is where we stopped on our way back last time and had an amazing meal. Surf and turf, baby. Surf and turf, baby. Yeah. She forgot my turf, though. I didn't let her get away with that. Um... <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I did get it, and it was delightful. So we drove straight through, and if you saw the picture, like my explorer had, um, it was like losing parts along the way. I'm not quite sure what was going on, but somebody told me that their daughters explore the same thing, like a piece of it just fell off, and I'm like, I don't know, but when I get home and I go into that Ford dealership, they got some splaining to do because um, I don't know. I just don't think parts should be falling off of vehicles especially with how much they cost now right so we'll see what happens um john update so before i left john got a giant tree cut down in his backyard like i'm talking humongous tree so that was the big news with john uh, steve has actually reported to me this week that he um, has not seen john or his wife he's not sure what's going on since i left they've been missing in action so I'm hoping that on our return, they Where will be. They? they will be back. So we have some news. I don't have mail to share with you, but 
I have to show you this because this is amazing. Oh, that's meal. Grab the pretzels. Oh. Yep, there you go. You okay, so what's left? While we're here <clears throat> this week, we get this big box in the mail. Yeah, big box. It the has, Oreos are gone. Yeah, the Oreos are, are gone. It has a beautiful card in it. Isn't this gorgeous? It says just a little note. Hang on. And inside it says, just thought you should know how wonderful you are. Want to make sure you keep up your energy, LOL. You are an amazing team, and I love learning from all of you. Enjoy. This is from Mary Stroman. She sent us a beautiful card, all three of us. This huge box filled. She made us those seasoned pretzels. They're like Dots pretzels. She said it's her own special recipe. She sent us a box of sea salt fudge. Oh, my gosh, delicious. The um, Kit Kats, Mary, they're almost gone. So just oh, know we've right. been feasting on these. That's pretty heavy. Barb was having trouble finding scoops Fritos in Sheridan, Wyoming. So she sent a couple bags of those. She uses them for taco soup. <clears throat> Bootlegged. Also vanilla Oreos, which we've already eaten. And then we have these Oreos. <laughs> so we have been keeping our strength up with all kinds of great food. And Mary, I just want to say we were giddy when we opened this box because this was such a nice surprise. So Thank you for that. Thank you so much, because that was awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> unicorn constipation problems. I love it. I know. So these little unicorn poppers are from Amazon. They're super cute. You get six balls with each one. And all you do is stuff the ball in there and then push it. But the ball that comes in the unicorn. Hi, Sheriff. How are you? Doing this well. This is the Sheriff. Hi, oh, my baby. gosh. Hello, ladies. Say hi to everybody. We have 330 <laughs> people watching oh, us. Oh, you're all so sweet. <laughs> He's not this, wearing his costume, though. This is the sheriff that we talk about. <laughs> He's legendary. 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 He whispers his swears. <laughs> okay. So back to the unicorn poppers. The ball that comes in, you have to take it out and let it, like, get back to its original form. Otherwise, it's not quite, um, it's kind of pinched. That sounds gross. You know, pinched. And it doesn't pop good. It won't pop. But the rest of the balls work really great. So these are on Amazon. Unicorn poppers. That's what they're called. Super fun. Um, I know tons of people have been ordering them. We've shown them. Barb has, I think Barb had them on her live. Um, Dina did a live from here. And now it's my turn for a live. Okay. You finally get to meet the sheriff. I know. He is so funny, you guys. He is so funny. Like, we just adore the sheriff. And we like him better when he's in his costume. That's what we call his uniform. <laughs> but he's awesome. Um, let's see. Haley. Haley's been sick. I told you guys she blew her ACL in her knee. Um, that's still, you know, blown. And, but she is feeling better. And I'm kind of excited to tell you that her and Jared put an offer in on a house today. <laughs> they probably won't get it, but it's so exciting for them. Um, the housing market, I don't know if it's the same all over the country, the world, whatever, but our housing market is like horrid in that you put an offer in on a house. And if it's not way over what the people are asking, you get beat out by all the other people because houses are just like, they're scarce right now. So um, whose husband is he, Mickey? That is Barb's husband, the sheriff. We're at Barb's house. We didn't bring our husbands with us. That's not allowed. <laughs> is Haley on here? I didn't see you come in, Haley. I hope you're on here watching. Um, I'm excited to hear about your house. And I am going to be making the, not I, Dina and I will be making the journey home tomorrow. We're planning on driving straight through to, um, Bettendorf, Iowa. And once we get there, we're going to sleep. And then I will leave in the morning to, I've got another four hour drive. So I will leave in the morning on Tuesday morning because I have a team meeting Tuesday night. So I'm excited to be home for that. We are going to be doing a Christmas party Tuesday night virtually, which is super fun. And um, for those of you that are on my team, do you want this? Yes. Hang tight. We got a, sorry. it's a real house phone. It's nostalgic oh. here in Wyoming. 
<laughs> Anyways, um, we have a team party Tuesday night and I'm all ready for it. So I'm super excited to be getting home and I need to go see Val, right? And Molly. Yeah. So, um, what else? Oh, I got my nails done before I left. Can you guys see my little snowflake here? Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. And my nail lady and I had a little disagreement. She was yelling at me about my nails, about my snowflake, because she said, she, I showed her a picture of a snowflake and she, um, made that snowflake, but not exactly like it was in the picture and it didn't turn out very good. So I asked her if she could do some things to it and she got really mad at me and she kind of started yelling at me and saying, if you would have just let me do my snowflake, my snowflake is way better. Your snowflake, that snowflake is ugly. And I'm kind of sitting there going, huh, <laughs> like she was yelling at me. And I'm like, you never told me you had a snowflake. I don't know. Anyways, it was like this huge misunderstanding. And I said, I think you I think you are talking about somebody else because I've never told you that I didn't like a design that you did. So <laughs> anyway, she took it off and did this one and her snowflake is way better than the one I had picked out. But it was kind of funny that my nail lady was yelling at me. I didn't care for that too much, but by the end of our time, we made up and we were fine. <laughs> I've never been yelled at by the nail lady. I've been going to her for a million years too. So that was kind of funny. Um, anyways, let's see what's happening. Um, I have a blog hop this week, Tuesday night. I have a gift card holder with the Stampers Dozen blog hop. So please watch for that. That's going to be on my blog, www.estampabub.com. So that's cool. And, um, what else do I have going on this week? We, I just released my newest online class. That's the one that I do in with Barb and Dina. We all three do the same class and offer it to all of our people. And it uses the Borders in Bloom stamp set. And let me see if I can, where did that go? Right here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. If you have the stamp set, great. If you don't, you can, you can um, order option number one and add it. We've got the Pierced Blooms the in bloom stamp set we're using this in combination with the basic border dies now these are really cool i love border dies but lots of times people don't know exactly what to do with them so look at that it's all stitched i hope you can see that stitching in here but the border dies comes with six different borders so you can add that on if you if you don't have it option one gives you all of these things. Option two, you can add on whatever you might need, but look at that. Isn't that cool? All of the cards will be using um, these three items, and then it's also going to include black matte dots, the Playful Pets ribbon combo pack, and oh, a quarter pack of the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. So, Lots of goodies in that. And again, this is on my blog already. So if you want to go check it out, you can go to www.estampabove.com. All of that stuff is $130. If you have some of it, you can pick and choose what you'd like. But the kit itself is going to be $45 for option number two, if you don't want option one. And um, you get nine cards in this kit, all pre-cut cardstock ready to roll. Or for 20 bucks, you can get the PDF file. If you are out of the country, that's open to global, anybody around the globe. So just know that bingo this month is on December 29th. I will be getting that um, registration link out. Oh, I wish I had a calendar here in front of me. I'm not in my own home turf here. So, um, I'll be getting uh, bingo registration out, like, I think on the the 14th, probably. The 14th, that'll go out in a newsletter. If you're not on my newsletter list, get in touch with me to get added to that, because that's where all the great stuff happens. I send out a lot of cool stuff. Or you can find it on my blog, too. Let's see. The other thing, my kit class for the month is going to be using the Party Puffins stamp set. We're going to make some really fun cards. And also the Spiral Die Background Stamp. So... Very bright, colorful, fun cards for my kit class this month. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you, we have new catalogs. 
um, everybody should be getting their new catalogs. This is Celebration. This is our new spring mini catalog. These go live on January 4th. Um, if you have placed an order with me in the last six months, minimum $50 order over that time frame, um, it could be two orders, three hour orders, whatever, you will be getting these in the mail come the end of the month. What did that just say? Oh, I have trolls on saying nasty things. Ooh, get rid of them. Yeah, I don't know how. I'll show you. Pull them up. Can you do that? Hang on, you guys. We're going to get rid it? of this. You might be able to do it on here, too. We're going to get rid of that guy right there. Yep. It just hold. says he's watching. Okay, so hang on. Hold. You should get a... Oh, come on. Hold on. Hang on. Hey, Dina. Stampers, remember to share. Oh, thank you very much for sharing and liking. Hang on, you guys, while I try to get rid of this guy that's, like, using some pretty foul language. Since you do it on the phone, because mine you just press and hold and you get the option to get rid of him. This, this is this guy right here. Yeah, it's not good. How to go? <laughs> we don't want that. Bye bye. Okay, Dina's gonna take care of it for me. And this is just—he's watching. I don't know that he really commented. Oh, if he didn't comment, I don't. Think yeah, he can. I don't know either. Maybe he's gonna go away. Well, stop talking about him. Okay. So moving, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> um, let's move that up so I can see the rest of my messages. If you um, if you would like these catalogs, I'd be happy to send them to you. If you haven't placed an order for me, if you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be really happy to send them to you. Pop me an email at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at stampabub.com. And yes, thank you guys. I see Patricia just shared and liked my page. Please give me a thumbs up. Like my page. That really helps me out. <laughs> and and um, share. Share this video. You can share it right now. Oh, and Denise says, go pack, go. That's right. Go pack. The Packers are playing tonight, so that's exciting. We hope they win. Um, <laughs> hey. We got we to gotta support our team. Oh, where are okay. the balls? Um, one thing I forgot to say, the Borders and Bloom class, which is our <clears throat> online class, that this is a pre-order for it right now. The PDF file will go out on the 23rd of December, and the kits will ship the week of the 26th. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that. And if you would like to join my team, yay! I've had a lot of people joining lately so that they can get the items in the um, new spring mini catalog. You can order that in your kit. You get to choose $125 for only $99 plus tax. You get free shipping. Things are going to happen. <laughs> and she gets so nervous. I do. I don't know why. It doesn't really hurt. And um, you can choose stuff out of the spring mini catalog if you would like to join as a discount shopper or build a business. It's completely <laughs> up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to hit you in the boob. And when you order $50 worth on a regular order right now um, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or a discount shopper... <laughs> Oh, you're so you get to um, you get to earn celebration products. Like we, for every fifty dollars we ordered in our pre order out of here, we get to choose celebration oh, items long before January fourth when it starts. So, if you join my team, you can choose items out of the new mini catalog to fill your kit up. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend that you just give it a try. You're gonna love it. Um, and I think that's about all I have. Did anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm looking at my phone here, but I can read my iPad a, a little question. bit better. Yes, ma'am. How is it that you're so incredibly awesome? That's my <laughs> Tell us. Aren't they the best? <laughs> They're the best. They're awesome. <laughs> we have had an amazing week getting things done and figured out. We are going to be doing a catalog kickoff. Mm -hmm in um, January. We also are figuring out information for our retreat. We are planning an open house for our Stamp Happy Academy website. If you'd like to um, check that out, you can go to www.stamphappyacademy.ning.com. Check that out. It's a subscription website for stampers, and it is just so much fun. We have a whole bunch of stuff planned that's going to be happening um, in the next few months. So lots of exciting stuff coming your way. What did this say? Why don't the ladies not have their crowns on? Um, uh, well, Dina has hers on. Come here. This is what right here. Well, it's we did. It's Christmas. Bring them. They're it's Christmas. Kinda, they're, they're hard to travel with. Yeah. Because they break easily and it's hard to pack them and. and so this, we got these at the dollar, dollar store. store for yeah. a dollar. Yeah, that was our. We've been shopping three times now. We've gone to Walmart three times. We've gone to the dollar store, and we went to a yarn store, right? 
that was really fun. So yeah, there's been a lot of shopping going on here. Sheridan doesn't have a lot of stores, so we take advantage of the ones they do have. <laughs> right? I oh, hear the one jingling. I, I keep jingling like I'm making no, noise, but it's actually I'm you. jingling. I have all the little bells. Okay. Who's ready to stamp? Me. I think I'm ready. All right. The first thing I am going to show you is a card. Oh, I forgot about this. So hang tight. Are you done with these? No, I haven't shown them yet. This is one of the cards in the Borders in Bloom class that we're doing this month. This is one of the cards. So, so pretty, right? Now, um, you could join. There's there's eight more cards. You'll get to make this one, and then there's eight more cards that we're going to feature in the class. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know about, this is a free, hang on, free card kit with the new Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. With all your orders from December 8th until the end of the month that reach $100 or more, you're gonna get a free card kit from us. Plus, you're gonna get entered into a drawing to win this happy and heartfelt stamp set. So that is pretty darn exciting, right? And each one of us is going to be giving away this stamp set, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so place your order. You have to use the host code, okay? And you're going to see the host code in just a minute. That's going to get you qualified to... Um... Carla's asking if there's a TV on in the background. Why are you asking that? Is there some reason? Like there is, but we can't hear it in here. So I'm hoping that there's not, it's not causing any problems. Carla, please let me know. <laughs> Anyways, on the phone in the other room. Oh, um, yeah, Barb's husband is on the phone. So that could be it. Okay, so the first card that I'm going to share with you tonight uses the in bloom and the borders. So that's pretty cool. You're gonna get to see all about our newest online class. And I'm just gonna get all my pieces out here. And then we'll flip the flip the phone around so we're ready to to stamp and you can see what's going on. Okay, so let me put this right over here. And then we'll put this right here. And now I have all of my pieces. Oh, I just love how pretty and colorful the cards are for this class. And this is just an extra idea. This isn't one of the cards that you'll be making in the class, but you'll have this as another idea. So that's pretty cool. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna flip you down now. So just hang tight. Let me see, how do I do this? Here we go. Okay, that is working pretty darn good. Now, we're tilted a little bit kind of goofy here, but that's okay. Just know that when you're working with somebody else's equipment, it just tends to be different. This is that beautiful pattern party designer series paper. You're gonna get a quarter pack of this with the online class this month. And again, that card kit that I just showed you, this is the host code that you're going to use when you place an order to qualify for that free card kit. All orders over $100 using this code will get the card kit. Now, what if you're putting in an order over $100? Um, if your order is over $150, don't use this code. You're going to automatically get that kit from me. And Stampin' Up's going to give you some rewards. I want you to have those if your order's over $150. If it's under, please use the code. That'll qualify for you for the kit. Debbie says the paper is so versatile. It really is. I've been using it like crazy lately. I love the black and white options with all the pretty color. I just think it's, it's gorgeous. So look at all these beautiful colors. We are going to be using a card base and this is our thick white card base. And let me put my little cheat sheet up here so I can see, see what's going on. Um, this is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna bring in all my little tools here. Got everything in my little basket. And then we've got a piece of basic white. This is four by five and a quarter. We're gonna do some things to this. We have scraps, and we've got, oops. We've got um, Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay, 
uh, polished pink and granny apple green scraps we're going to use for some die cutting. You're also going to need a scrap of white, um, another scrap of white. I thought I had that in here, but that's okay. Um, yeah. I can grab that in a second. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do to this is we're going to run it through one of the Dottie Hearts embossing folders. And this has, this is one of our mini embossing folders. It has two different folders in it. So we have this one that has some really cute hearts on it. So this is a great thing to get now so that you're ready for Valentine's Day. But we're not even making a Valentine card with this. So it's good for just about any time. I'm, I'm going to need a bigger piece than that. Thank you. And then, oh my gosh, it's so nice having somebody right here to grab what you what you forgot, right? This is the other embossing folder that's in there. I hope you can see this. It's so, so pretty. Um, and this, again, is a great one to have for Valentine's, but you don't need to just use them for Valentine's as you're going to see here in just a second. So we're going to take one of our border dies and I am going to use the Rick Rack and I'm going to run that across right here. I'm taking off about, oh, an inch and a quarter or so of this layer. Once I get this cut, I'll run this through and cut it. Then I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to run it through the embossing folder. So cut it first and then emboss it. And once we do that, this is what you're going to end up with. And I hope you guys can see those pretty little dotty hearts all over this. And it kind of goes along with the stitched in this bundle. Okay, let me put this away. Next, what we're going to do... Hang on, i got to keep all Barb's stuff together. So, like, mine and Dina's worst nightmare is that we actually take something home that belongs to Barb. That's not going to be good, right? We don't want to be stealing anything. Okay, so once we get that done... We also have a piece of the beautiful designer series paper, and this piece is one and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to do just a little bit of stamping with a memento ink pad. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. We're going to do the inside of our card before we put anything together because you know that if you mess it up, you can certainly flip it over and change it. You don't have to waste a whole card base. So we're going to go with the You Are Amazing. And let me set this out here. This is that beautiful stamp set, the In Bloom stamp set. You get 21 different um, stamps in here. So it's a really nice set. Here we go. You Are Amazing. And then I'm going to grab, did I get my ink pads out? Nope, I'm gonna grab Mango Melody, hang on. And we're gonna do just a little bitty flower. In catalog order. What? The ink pads are in catalog order. Oh yeah, Barb's ink pads are right up here and they're all in catalog order and the markers are right next to them in the colors. And this is very interesting to me. <laughs> Right way. It's the right way to do it, but I don't live like that. <laughs> Here comes a little bit of black. I'm just going to put a little bit of black in the middle of that flower. I just wanted a little something in here to jazz it up a little bit. Okay. And then we are going to add some dimensionals now to the back of this layer. So let's do that. Hang tight with me. I'm trying to read all your comments, you guys. Yes, yes, we are, Pat. We are having a great time at Barb's house, and our trip is coming to an end tomorrow, which is sad. We are so going bad. to be driving home. It's a 14-hour drive from here to Dina's house, and we are hoping to tackle that all tomorrow. We did it on our way out here. Um, usually, we're here during a season where there's some touristy sightseeing things that we can do. But right now with it being winter, you know, everything's kind of closed. So we're just going to head home. We're not going to go to like, what was that? Devil's Tower and... Um, it's probably closed. Yeah, right. Hills. It's it's the, the Black Hills and all the things. We're not going to do that. Oh, <laughs> you want to glue this on first, okay? Yeah, hang tight. We're going to get this in there. I don't think I put any dimensionals too close to the edge that I can't tuck this up under here. But this is going to tuck... 
right on the bottom edge of your card front, just like that. Oh, I really, I really lucked out there, but isn't that just so pretty already by itself? All right, then we are going to take, let me close this up for a second. We're going to take our um, pierced blooms dies and we are going to do a whole bunch of die cutting. So I am going to do, let's see, I want two of this big flower out of white. Then we're gonna do two, no, four of this little flower out of white. And we also need one of these labels and then all of these little scraps here, we are going to do, uh, let's see, here's this leaf. I really like this leaf. We're going to do that. Whoops. A couple of these on the granny apple. Hang on. Here we go. This is the leaf we're going to do on the granny apple. So we're going to do a couple of those. We're going to do one of the big circles. There's the big, there's two. So that's cool. We only need one. We're going to do that on the polished pink. And then there are smaller circles. I think they're right here. Yep, smaller circles. We're gonna do one on Bermuda and one on Mango Melody, okay? So we're gonna take those over to the die cutting machine and we are going to get those all cut out. Look at, look at all those elements. I wanna give you a tip about a, um, a set of dies that has this many elements in it. While we were designing the cards for the class that we have, the Borders and Bloom class, we had all of these. We just, Barb, and well, I did some, Dina did some too, but Barb did most of them, just die cut a whole bunch of elements out of the dies in all kinds of colors. And that way you can just sit down and start designing with all of these pretty things versus having to go over to the die cutting machine, come back, having to go back, having to, you know, back and forth, back and forth. But highly recommend that you just die cut a whole bunch of elements out of the colors that you like, and you can just sit down and make a ton of cards. So we're going to take these over to the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And hang tight because you guys know I already did this, right? <laughs> No illusions there. Here's all of my little elements. Oops, let's get that one out of there. And now we're going to start adding these together. So here's our two big flowers. Here's our four little flowers. And then our dots for the middle and our leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some glue to the middle. And we're going to start stacking these together. So here's one. Here's another one. I'm offsetting the petals so they look nice and full. That was really quick, right? Once you have these die cut, this is so much fun to make all of these. We're going to add a little bit of glue to the middle here and use our polished pink on that one. Mango Melody and Bermuda Bay. Oops. Comes our mango. Comes our Bermuda. And I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of them. Do this, this, and this. We're going to take this little label and we're going to stamp it with the You Mean So Much to Me. And we'll stamp that right in the middle. We're going to add some dimensionals to the back of that also. So lots of dimensionals on here. we got lots of dimension happening. I want to make sure this stands up good. Okay, here comes our pretty little card. Get all of these off. We're going to put our sentiment in first. Just like this. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Then I'm going to bring in my big flower. Push that right in there. Here comes one of our littler flowers. You want to make sure that you're keeping it inside the card, right? So that it'll fit in a envelope. Here comes another one. And then we're just going to tuck these in there. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Here we go. 
Here's another little bit of glue. And we're going to go probably right here. And then this is a combo pack. You get the red with the stitch in it, and you get the black and white Baker's Twine, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to take and tie this in a bow. Here we go. Ah, Judy, thank you so much. Judy says, very pretty card. Thank you so much. Anybody who came in late, thank you so much for joining me. Please, like, say hello or something so you can be entered in a drawing. I'm not giving any prizes away tonight because I'm not at home where I have all my prizes. But I will be back on again next Sunday, and I give away free prizes every week. So if you leave your um, a comment and just let me know that you're here, you will get entered in the drawings that I will be doing next week. So I want everybody to have a chance at that. And of course, I appreciate if you're watching, if you need any catalogs or anything, this is how you get a hold of me. That's my website. So thank you. And click on that share button. Give me a thumbs up on the like. All right, here we go. <gasps> Isn't that so cute, you guys? Oh my gosh, it's just adorable. Now, you know me, and you know I need a matching envelope, right? So you could put the designer paper on the flap of your envelope. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, let's see. I think maybe I'll take Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to stamp this flower right here on the front. Then I'm going to grab a little Bermuda. And I need to clean my stamp off before I stick it in Barb's ink pad. Grab a little bit of this. This is just a Bermuda base, just a little bit darker. And then I'll grab this little one. And I love building these flowers. You just keep building with the stamp set. Like it's the, it's one of the best flower stamp sets. You just keep building things. We have a stem, you have some leaves here. There's all kinds of leaves in the um, dies. There's bigger leaves, there's smaller leaves. It's just a fantastic stamp set. Okay, so here's just a little decoration right on the front of our envelope. And here is our beautiful little card with those hearts in the background. Who isn't going to love that card? I have lots of people I can send this card to, especially when I have a team meeting tomorrow night. I love my team. We'll be doing, um, we'll be playing bingo and I'll be giving prizes away. We will have um, an ugly sweater contest and we're going to be doing, what else do we have on our agenda? Oh, dollar store hack. So if you go to the dollar store, that's why we went to the dollar store is we bought some, um, I got this little container and you decorate it to make it pretty for whatever you might need. So I decorated it so I could put a Christmas gift in it. And that's called the dollar store hack. And so everybody will be sharing that at our team meeting tomorrow night. It's just super, super fun. And the majority of my team members are discount shoppers. They're, they're happy stampers that want to get a discount on their product, just like most of you. So if you'd be interested in joining my team, I would love to have you, and I'm sure you will love it. Next up, let me set this over here to the side. Hang on just a second. And I'm going to give Dina this card back so we don't forget to do that. Thanks. You, you took the card kit card yeah. Yes. Okay, good. <gasps> Guess what we're going to be using here. Now, the next card that I'm going to show you has the most amazing um, gift card holder on the inside. But of course, we have to decorate up the outside of a card too, right? So I'm going to be using the Seasons of Fun stamp set. Now, this is an exclusive stamp set. You can only get this if you have a party or if you place a $150 or more order, you get Stampin' Rewards, and you can use those Stampin' Rewards to buy the Seasons of Fun stamp set. And I think this is about $10, I think. Um, so it's high, it's very, very deeply discounted for the host to take advantage of that, or the person who puts in a big order. We're gonna be using this. And then I paired it up with the Holly Jolly Wishes because this is one of my favorite sentiment sets out of the um, holiday mini catalog. 
what I'm going to show you, you can easily convert this to a birthday card, a Valentine's card, an Easter card, an anniversary card. It can be any kind of card, but I guarantee you're going to love it. Okay, now let me put let me put these back away. I got to keep all my stuff in order here because I. I'm in somebody else's space. That's tricky, right? <laughs> this is the heartwarming hugs. I've shown you guys this paper before. I absolutely love it because it's so um, traditional Christmas and you can just use it for so many things. Then, let's see what we're going to do here. We are going to... Oh, I'm going to be showing you a product too that is coming out in our spring mini catalog. We're going to use that on something tonight too. So that's going to be fun. All right, let me get all my bits and pieces out here. We're going to need a little bit of ribbon. We are going to be using a die cut from the scalloped contour dies. This goes with the um, contour stamp set, but I love all of these little scalloped rectangles and there's even an edge that does a scallop. So that's cool. We're going to use a layer of pool party. This is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. I've also got a piece of the designer series paper. This is one and three quarters by four and a quarter. All right, let me move this out of the way. I'm bringing in real red and pool party ink as well as memento. Here's that beautiful sheer red ribbon. Love this. And some Stampin' Blend markers. And I'll tell you what those are as soon as we get rolling here. Okay, we're gonna stamp up the front of this first. I am going to bring in the stamp set. Now, Barb's got, um, I had to use one of Barb's big blocks because I didn't bring a big block, but I do have a whole bag of blocks that I brought along. Yeah, um, and she's got this grid. This is an old item that Stampin' Up! I think used to sell years ago, and she's still using them, and they're just an easy way to set up your stamps so that they're on here straight, but I just want to let you know that's what this is, and we don't have this anymore, and I don't have them either, so Barb's the lucky one. Look at how cute that is. I think this is the cutest little image ever. Now we're going to bring in the sweet little dog. I'm going to stamp that right here. Isn't that sweet? It's like he's jumping up. He's catching the snowflakes that we're going to stamp right now. Let's get some snowflakes in here. And again, this is all from that Seasons of Fun stamp set, which is a host-only stamp set. Okay. Oh, I see that Kimberly is asking, where do I get the sheet that shows off the designer series paper? We call these DSP samplers. And what you do with this, Kimberly, is this is just a piece of white cardstock, and you're going to print it. You're going to type up the name of the designer paper and the coordinating colors. We've got mossy meadow, pear pizzazz, and real red, one inch circles. You cut your designer paper into two inch squares. This is one side, this is the other side. This is one side, this is the other side. And you just arrange it on here. So you print this out with nothing else on it, just a white piece of paper with the name at the top, and then you make these. That's where you get these. That's a great question. I have a lot of people asking me about those. I love them. And here's another tip for you. You can keep this in the back of your designer series paper. Like here's the pack of the heartwarming hugs. You can, when you store your paper, you can just take this and put it right in the back. And then when you get ready to start designing, you can pull this out and go, oh, what do we have here? So you don't have to dig through the paper pack every time. I think that's really handy too. <clears throat> okay, let's get back to our little project here that's so stinking cute. Um, I am going to color this in now. So we're using Granny Apple Green, light and dark. We're using, oh, I need crumb cake too. Hang on a second. Crumb cake, light and dark. We've got real red, light and dark. I've got the light basic black, the light pool party, and then I'm using ivory and bronze in our stamp and blend markers. Now, I want to tell you guys, this is a lot, right? It's like, oh my gosh, I can't keep up with her. How did she, you know, say those so fast, blah, blah, blah. But um, 
I will share all of these items on my blog. So when we're done here tonight and I get this video uploaded to YouTube, you can go right to my blog and it's going to have all of these items that I'm using to make all of these projects on my blog so you don't have to try and remember or figure out by looking at, you know, what I'm doing right now, what colors I'm using. I put a whole ingredient list. I will put all the dimensions on my blog and there'll be still photos because I know sometimes if you're watching on a phone, it gets a little tricky to see all the things, right? It's hard for you to see because this is so little, but you can go to my blog and you can see everybody or everything is going to be nice and big so that it's easier for you to look at a still photo. All right, so that was crumb cake dark. And I'm just blending over that till I get that blended in nicely on my little, this looks like a Scotty dog. And again, I'm just coloring in and now I'm gonna blend this darker down here so it doesn't look like, you know, a four-year-old colored it. I always hate that. <laughs> That's why I love these markers because you can just be the biggest artist with these. It amazes me every time. This is the dark red. I'm gonna do his little tongue. And then I'm gonna come in and do her hat and her mittens. On smaller stuff like this, I tend not to use a lot of the, um, the shading and stuff with this because it's hard to see anyways and I just don't think it's necessary. You just color in and one of the great things about these markers is you never get any scribble marks with them because they're alcohol based and that just ugh, makes my life so happy. Okay, I'm gonna come in, whoops, I'm gonna come in with this dark. I'm gonna do some of these stripes in dark on her scarf. And that's just gonna give it a really interesting little look. And I think that's about it. Then I'm gonna come in with the light red and now you can color over the whole thing and you're just still gonna see those dark stripes on there. That's just kind of an easy way to do it instead of, you know, now doing the light stripes. Just color over the whole thing. What are you guys drinking tonight? I'm a little ashamed of us because <laughs> we have had nothing. We have had no margaritas. We have had nothing crazy to drink. Isn't that sad? We have been drinking, um, Dina does Diet Coke. I do my strawberry lemonade. Barb is, Barb, are you Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke? Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. There's been no alcohol consumed by us this whole time. <laughs> I know we're so lame. Oh, whatever. We've had a great time though. We're Can you imagine? Yeah, we are working really hard. Could you imagine alcohol? <laughs> my medication? No. Yeah, Dina's been sick. She's had kind of a cold while she's here. So we've been drugging her up pretty good every day just to keep her functioning well. And um, yeah, we probably don't need to add any, any um, alcohol to her medication. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, it's kind of sad, you know, the last thing you want when you go on a vacation is to be sick, but it is what it is, unfortunately. I use the bronze on the sled right here. Then the other thing we need to do the coat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little bit of the dark granny apple just to get a little bit of shading down in here because I think that this is a big enough area that it's going to make a difference, right? And we're going to do just a little bit of shading on here. And now I'm going to color this whole thing with the light. And you're going to see just how stinking cute this is. Keep coloring till it's blending. Just keep coloring. Oh, I see I missed a piece of a scarf too. Do you guys find coloring to be very relaxing? Do you like to color like this? Like I could stamp up a whole bunch of these and go out with the sheriff and sit and watch the Packer game and just keep coloring away. I could just color, color, color. How many of you are like that? Okay, um, let's see. I need to bring my red back in because I missed the scarf right here. So let's do that. Okay, oh, and I missed it right up here too by her. Got a little fold up there. Uh, we're gonna do 
a little bit more green down here on her legs. Gotta get this thing colored up really nice. Because it is, you guys are gonna die when you see the inside. It's so stinking cute. I'm really excited to share it with you. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the pocket flaps in the darker green, the cuffs, and the little buttons, and then the stripes on the pants. So you color them all with a solid color and then come in with the darker color and add the stripes, and that just makes it easy to do. It was kind of a revelation for me. I'm like, oh, I could just color this whole thing and then come back for the dark parts. All right, we're also using the bronze on the little girl's hair. And of course you could make her have any hair you want. I'm gonna do some dark hair, just like that. Oh, and the light black is for the soles on her shoes. We gotta, you know, we're all about the details, right? And then we're gonna use that light pool party. I'm gonna use the big end and I'm just gonna come down in here and I'm just gonna kinda do that. That's about it. Now, what about the star? What about the star? Well, I have a sneak peek for you. Look at these. These are resin star embellishments. They come in navy, red, um, evening evergreen, and yellow. So I thought, oh, I wonder if one of these stars in the spring mini catalog, these aren't available yet, you guys, would fit on the top of this little tree. And guess what? It does. Oops, let me get it turned over here. So I'm gonna just put a little resin star. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh, isn't that adorable? Yeah, so we have stars coming. This is part of the all-star suite in the spring mini catalog. And again, if you don't have the new mini catalogs that are coming out, if you're if you're if you've ordered from me, you're on my list to get them in the mail. But if you are new to me and you would like to get them, please pop me an email, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at a stamp above.com and I would be happy to mail them to you. All right, I think we're ready to do some things here. First thing we're gonna do, I don't wanna break my golden rule. We're gonna do our stamping on the inside of this before we do any other work because if we mess that up, we can recover quickly, right? Okay, we got this and we are going to take that jingle all the way from the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. I love this one for Christmas, you guys. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. It is a great set. So here comes our jingle all the way. I've got this in real red ink, and I'm gonna stamp this, make sure it's right side up, stamp this right in the middle of my card. Yay! That turned out great. Now, we're gonna grab some more of the, let me close this up. Red is always like my most dangerous ink pad. It gets everywhere every time I use it. So, well, see, I got it right there. Hang on while I wipe that on my pants. And here comes our little snowflakes in pool party. And I'm just gonna add these around the sentiment. That's good, that looks good to me. The other thing I wanted to do was put them down in here. I want them to be very pale. So I'm gonna stamp them off once. And I'm gonna put some right here like the dog is going after the little snowflakes. And maybe some right over here, stamp off to make them nice and light, and that's enough snowflakes for me. Of course, you could put as many as you wanted in, but that's where I'm gonna end it. Okay, let's get our card front put together because I can't wait to get to the inside with you. And here we go. This is our one and, hang on, three quarter by five, I'm sorry, one and three quarters by four and a quarter inch heartwarming hugs. And we're gonna add this just to the front of our card. Now this card is gonna open this way, okay? We usually do tall cards like this, but this is gonna be a little different. So we're gonna add this right over here. I like to pick it up when I'm pushing it all the way up against the edge and make sure it's, you know, stacked nicely. And I tend to always err on the side of a little bit of overhang, so I'm just going to trim that off of here. Oops, hang on. There we go. Okay, so this is our card front. Now we're gonna grab that pool party and we're going to put this little layer on there. The 
cool party layer is, hang on, uh, four and five eighths by three and five eighths. It's just a little bit bigger than this contour scallop. Okay, and then we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of here because, well, why wouldn't you? Like dimensionals always make everything look better, right? Okay. This is my take your pick tool. This is a fantastic little tool if you're not familiar with it. But I, I use it, it's like one of my staples. I use it constantly while I'm stamping. We're gonna put this right in the middle here. Make sure I get it on here straight. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna take that sheer ribbon and I'm gonna tie a bow just like this. Put this right on the front of my card. We're gonna use some of this ribbon on the inside too because that's, the front is gonna be super cute but the inside is where the magic happens. Oops, hang on, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna trim this off and we're gonna trim this off. Mini glue dot, here we go. I'm going to do this, and we're going to put that right up here. Isn't that sweet? Now that's so sweet. Now we're going to do the really cool stuff on the inside. So I wanted a gift card holder on the inside. I just feel like most of you are probably done with your Christmas cards, right? But at the last minute, I always need lots of gift card holders when I'm getting ready to, um, you know, wrap presents and get everything ready and underway. So we're going to take a piece of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And this is four by nine and a half. And I will have a picture of this ready for you on my blog when I get everything loaded up. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer. This is my scoring blade. And we are going to need our ruler out. So on the short side of this layer, we are going to, we're going to score at a half an inch. Okay. That's a half an inch. I went that way. So if I would have went this way, now we're going to go down to three inches and score again. And again, this will be shown on my blog. You'll get to see everything all cut out. It'll be a lot easier to look at there. Then we're going to turn it on the long side. We're going to score at a half an inch. It's hard to hold it this way and keep it lined up. That's why I tend to go that way for these smaller measurements. But there's a half an inch. Then we're going to do one inch. Don't let all this scoring scare you. This is pretty darn simple. I was really surprised when I made the first one of these. This is four and a half, five, five and a half. And just remember, it's just paper. It's not a big deal. Give it a try. Grab some crummy paper and make up a template. Try it out on that first. Okay, so. We've got half inch, one inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. This side was half inch and three, okay? Now we're gonna do some trimming here. All right, uh, let's see, this is the small one with both ends. So we are going to, it's kind of hard to, see, oh, this paper makes it hard to see those score lines. We are going to, Cut this and this corner out. So I'm cutting through both score lines to cut that corner out. And we're also going to do the same thing down here. We're going to cut to that second score line. And hang on, I'm going to fold it a little bit so I can see. That sometimes can be very helpful. Fold it a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we cut out both of those. Next, we're going to... I'm gonna fold this so we can see what I'm doing. There's a score line here and a score line here, and there's also a score line in the middle like that, okay? So we are 
Oh, something didn't go right there. Hang on. I think I mismeasured. Hang tight. We're going to fix it. We have a half an inch, a one inch, a four and a half inches. Oh, I should have gone to four and a half inches. I told you four and a half. Five and five and a half. Okay. I told you the right numbers, but I didn't do it right. So let's try this. So we've got a half an inch, then um, half an inch, half an inch, one inch, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. So let's take a look, see. I'm going to push this. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna look like that on one end. Okay, that's what we're trying to accomplish here. So now I'm gonna cut this out. There we go. We're gonna cut this little one out right here. Just like that. We're gonna cut this other one out. to that score line. <laughs> Just like that. And then we have to do some stuff down here on this end. So this one is our long end, this is our short end. We're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna fold that a little bit so I can see what's going on. We're gonna trim that off. We're gonna come in here and cut this one off. Okay. Now, for this to lay nice, we're going to do a little bit of angling. And we're not going to angle the bigger panels up here at all, but we are going to angle these down here. So you're going to go just like that and like this. And this is what I have a picture of that I have that I'll put on my blog is all of these little pieces cut off like this. So you'll be able to do exactly what I've done here. Don't worry. It'll all be better. <laughs> Okay, this is our, this is going to be our little gift bag, and this is going to go on the inside of our card. So, I've got some glue on this panel, glue it down. This is the top of our bag, and this is just going to make our bag be finished on the edge. Then we've got this, and this. We've got this, so this is what we've got right now, okay? I just want to make sure you can see all of that. We're going to take this, and we're going to fold it down flat, and we are going to glue this little tab to this little tab, and it doesn't matter how you do that. It makes no difference. I'm just going to fold it over, glue it down, and now what we have is this okay easy peasy right it's it's not hard just do your score lines fold and then we're going to fold this and this now this is the really cool part we're going to grab our card and oh i know we need to put some handles well let's put this in we can do this first let's do this this is pinched down now, just like this, okay? So I'm going to add some glue just to this tab right here, and I'm going to center it from top to bottom and add it right into the crease of my card. Crazy, right? Barb actually came up with this easy way to do this. I was gonna do it a little more difficult. She's like, can't you just lay that in there and do that? And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're a genius. Okay, again, just on the tab, we're going to close that, give it a little bit of time. I have a couple pieces of ribbon here, someplace, here they are. I'm going to get these ready while we're waiting for that glue to dry, and I'm going to reveal the amazing inside of this cutest little card ever. Okay, here's some glue dots. Oh, by the way, this ribbon is five inches long. You need two pieces. Five inches long. 
So I'm going to do this one. I'm just putting some glue dots at the end of each five inch piece. Okay. And I'm going to set these down. Hopefully they don't run away on me. Are you ready? This is a little gift bag. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. It folds flat and then it pops up just like a little gift bag is on the inside. Are you like dying right now? Super, super cute, right? Okay, now hang on. We're going to put these little handles down in here and you're going to put the handles down fairly far. Like my handles are going down in there pretty far. Ooh, the bears are up 10 to zero. Ugh. Packers better not lose. It's funny because um, Molly, my granddaughter Molly, her family, they're huge, huge Bears fans. Huge. Like everything starts and ends with the Bears at their house. So it's kind of it's a big night for them. <laughs> I wish I was at their house. Well, not really because I'd rather be here. But, well, I could be at their house, too. That's a, yeah, it's like, that didn't sound very good, did it? But, okay, so now we have these cutie patootie little handles, okay? And you can kind of turn them whichever way you want them to go. Okay, we got little handles. Then I thought, what should we do? But we should grab a little piece of tissue paper. And you can actually stamp on tissue paper. You just stamp on it and decorate it up if you want. I think I had you guys held you ca captive here long enough. There is unicorn poop flying everywhere. I'm just gonna take a little piece. Remember who you love. Of, of <laughs> tissue paper and put in a gift card. And that is exactly what I'm gonna put in the inside of my card. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> Where's the ball? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh that that one's gonna be that one's done. not gonna work. Yep, this one will work though. Are you ready? Yep, there we go. <laughs> unicorn poop. But how stinking cute is this, you guys? <laughs> Is that not the sweetest little thing now? The it's pretty other, flippin' cute. It is pretty cute, isn't it? The other thing that I had here was, oh, look it. I got, I had some of these strips of designer paper left. Like, you know, what do you do with all these strips of designer paper? And I thought, well, wouldn't this look cute? Just use it to decorate the inside. It's pretty cute. Just a little bit, right? That's a super easy way to jazz up the inside of your card a little bit. Hang on, I gotta... Trim this off. Put my gift card back in there. We went to Starbucks a couple times while we were here. Mm. Yeah. I like the hot chocolate. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do like hot chocolate. So, isn't that cute? Now, we could probably put one over here, too. I think that'll look fine. They don't have Diet Coke at Starbucks. They don't have Diet Coke. What is Dina that? didn't. What is that? Dina didn't get anything. Well, I got one the first time. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, that good. frappe thing. But I was holding out for something more she Diet was. Cokey. She wanted Diet Cokey, and they don't have it there. But... Sorry, Dina. Starbucks is not your place. <gasps> Super cute, right? How cute is that? It's kind Super of. Super cute. It's like a ridiculous. It is ridiculously uh -huh. cute, over the top, amazing. Who isn't going to open this and go, oh, and you guys what? saw that it was really easy. Now, I will have all the dimensions and the scoring on my blog right here later tonight when I get this all uploaded to my blog and YouTube. So make sure on YouTube you give me, um, click the. Is there a thumbs up on YouTube? Yeah, Ring the bell. Up. Yep. Ring the bell. Subscribe the... to your channel. Yep. Subscribe to my <laughs> channel. There's going to be a place you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube. That's going to be right down here. Subscribe to it. I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers, you guys. That's like huge for me. Here's what your piece looks like. Again, this square top. This is the top of your bag. And then it just, it just goes together so easy, just like that. There's your little bag, super duper simple. So everything will be on there. Don't forget about our Borders and Bloom class. It's gonna be using all the fun elements that we used here. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad you guys could join me tonight. Did, um, somebody said thick white cardstock isn't available right now, is that true? Um, hold, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. We will find out. Um, I always have a ton of it in stock because, well, you guys know I go through a lot of, a lot of cardstock, but 
Ah, Linda, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know, I thought this was the cutest little thing. These have been going around. My friend Susie Wood made one. Um, Leanne Graff made one. I've been seeing them, and I'm like, oh, I really need to try that. I've never made a card like this before with this little shopping bag on the inside. So I thought it was just super, super sweet. Yep, thick white card stock is on. Um, it's not available right at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be back in quickly. Hang on, Dina's going to find the date for us. And uh, did anybody have any questions that I missed? Make sure that you um, join my team. You get to order out of the mini catalog. If you need mini catalogs, I am happy to November mail 22nd. them. November 22nd. No, is that right? November. Well, it's, it's December, so. Oh, <laughs> well, they'll get it in as soon as they can. We're just glad that our company is like still getting product. But if you guys want these brand new mini catalogs, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm happy to mail them to you. Also, this is my current host code. I have a six card kit with the new Daffodil Afternoon Delight. Um, is that what it's called? Afternoon Delight? It's not Afternoon Delight. Daffodil, that's Daffodil Afternoon. That's something else. That's a song. And something else. That's a good song. And something that might not be that appropriate to talk about on my stamping show. So, <laughs> don't forget to use my host code if your order is under $150. <laughs> I see some of you got that. Yay. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. Don't hesitate if you have any questions about anything. And uh, once again, you guys, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me tonight. And maybe we'll have some fun pictures we can share from our trip home tomorrow. And I hope that I don't lose any more parts off my Explore or things are not going to be good at the Ford dealership when I get back to Manashua, Wisconsin. <laughs> Bye from Sheridan, Wyoming. Thank you.